Don't view me as no conscious cat, this ain't no conscious rap <coughs> Fuck the conscious crap, man can push your conscious back I do this for my culture, penny nickels in the sofa Mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda To connect me so since he was sick by Ola Hit it in the choker with the chest of bass They hit they tone to fuck the love we saw Yeah, yeah, I'm a little fucking stripping, yeah, like I'm skipping down the street, and I hear a thousand fucking feet behind me, I want to rewind me, take me back to the past that I used to fucking live, get back to the presences that I used to fucking give, and I fucking striver your ass when you talk to me and I get that fucking text and I'm like god damn what the fuck is coming on if you had to sum up life in one word right now this second what would you sum it up in what word one word fuck <laughs> guess whose birthday it is today Victoria, don't put that in your mouth, baby. One time I swallowed one of those on accident. The cap to a bottle. I don't know if it ever came out. Anyways, it's Victoria's birthday today. How old are you today, baby? Four. Big foe. Yeah, so we're gonna go to the park with my mom and do some whatever barbecue stuff type things. And then I'm gonna take her to her mom's and she's gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my goodness, so Chuck E. Cheese and then supposedly a wild animal park. That'd be tight. Because zoos are bad, huh, baby? Mm -hmm. Why are zoos bad? Uh, not me. Why are zoos bad? Um, mommy. No, why are zoos bad, baby? Because. Because they're mean to the animals, huh? I was calling to uh, reserve a room with you guys. So check it out, guys. My mom just moved into a new place. And um, it's nice. It's, it's closer to my work. It's right in between my dad's house and my work. Um, it just seems like a nicer environment. It's kind of like a bigger place. Like, I uh, don't want to get anything wet, but you know, nice trees. It's just a better neighborhood, it seems like. What's up guys, so I'm just going to do a little quick video where I'm going to introduce you guys to some of the people I work with. Not all of them, but some of them. Hey you guys, I'm going to do a video where I'm going to record you. And it's recording right now. This is Norman Smith. He's my manager. He's telling me what to do right now. This is Daniel Gonzalez. He smokes weed. And that's uh, Paula. You guys already, most of you guys already said that you would have sex with her. They did. What? No. Oh, I mean...
Daniel Gonzalez over here is throwing up. And it's okay though. He's, he's throwing up a lot. And it's okay though. Because, you know, throwing up is what is part of life. <laughs> Niggas throw up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Niggas throw up. It happens. So, yeah. That shit tastes like a chili cheese for a bit of I bet. So I'm watching this YouTube video. Today's my day off, just hanging out with Victoria. Look what she's doing. She's fixing the bed. Fixing the bed, my love? You don't need help, right? So today I got paid this morning. And uh, I finally got around to doing this shit that I've been fucking like lagging on for months. Um, I finally put this application at this apartment complex that I'm trying to get a place at. Um, big ass waiting list, but I guess I'm gonna be rushed through. So I should have a place here soon. And, um, finally, oh my goodness, oh gosh. Oh my, that's perverted. Anyways, um, and also technically, I've been driving around with a suspended license for like two years almost. And, um, I never really paid attention or thought about it. And then, which is fucking ridiculously stupid. But, um, and what makes it even worse is all I had to do is pay this stupid little $15 reinstatement fee because it was only suspended for some stupid dumbass reason. And I was like a day late on a child support payment. But anyways, yeah. So I got a lot of shit done today. It was a good day. <laughs> So I'm smoking this bowl and it has half of it is Rick Ross OG and half of it is green crack and then the other half <laughs> and another half of hash. Um, I don't know what kind of hash it is but some bomb shit so yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I couldn't just smoke it without letting you guys know or like somebody knowing that it went down. So it's like, a, it's a beautiful bowl. It needs to be smoked. The blood flows through the veins. I hear the neurons transmit the pain and the balance we hang on the edge of this earth and all we need is a bit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I feel like Kurt Cobain, losing my head I did so much cocaine that I feel like I'm dead Am I really feeling red? Is that blood on my shirt? Am I tripping? Is this bitch's fucking skirt really going up? Or am I about to rape? I cannot understand if we are on the date Or if I'm about to fucking rape Like I said, either way, my head goes in between the legs be on my list like her name's Craig And I do it like I'm Craig It's Friday, I do it my way I say what I say Then I just do You, bend you over You my bitch I'm gonna make you my Richie Rich Macaulay Culkin You my little Chuck E. Cheese token I mistake you for a quarter When I'm buying two orders of two for three Famous stars at Carl's Jr. <laughs> No sense <laughs> at all. But I got big ass balls. Oh, big. I got a hula hoop size type draws, and that <laughs> makes no sense except that I'm fat and I have nine lives like a fucking cat and eight are already gone. The last one's at the end of the song, and last night I hit a fat ass bone with DMT and I seen three things bigger than me. It was me, me, and me. <laughs> And that was it. <laughs> Suck my dick. You a bitch. You a twig. I'm a stick. And I win every fucking time. Every fucking rhyme. You a nick. I'm a dime. It's a crime to try to spit a shine. Better than me. You ain't getting more cheddar. No pleasure for free. Cause I do these endeavors. And I don't do one for a low price. I do one for a bold price. I do two nights for two times what you do. And twice as expensive. And you didn't buy it, you rent it. Rent it. You save it, I spent it. Never should go new beat. They gave it, I lent it. 
So I just did something that was unlike me. So I passed. <laughs> uh. You didn't like the pussy blood? You supposed to drink pussy blood. But drink pussy blood. Drink, drink pussy blood. Drink pussy blood. Drink, drink pussy blood. Drink pussy blood. Drink the pussy blood. Drink pussy blood. Drink the pussy blood. Drink the pussy blood. Drink that pussy blood. Oh, that's what that means? Alright, show. That's what that means. Yep. Explosive. Blowing on your face. Blowing on your face, not leaving a trace. Uh. Cause I wipe it up after put it up your butt. What? Up Ooh, your what? vagina, oh. up your cunt. Cut. Now you pregnant. What? Got my baby. <laughs> Abort that shit. Not maybe. Stop. Definitely. <laughs> that ain't mine. It ain't that motherfucking time. Oh shit. Oh. Getting raw. Oh. Fucking this bitch. Oh. Fucking raw. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm all up in her. Says she feel it dripping down in her, oh. her thighs. Dripping down now. Leaking on the floor. Leaving stains now. Oh, oh shit. Walk on it later. That's a bad reminder of me, oh. bitch. Oh shit. Yeah, Walk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Maybe. Look at those cat those carts are just gone. Oh damn. Look at Oh. Look at look at look at Oh, oh damn, it. damn! They didn't hit. Nah, be tight. Damn. World star. World star. Would have been. World would star. almost. Almost. Damn. This was almost on world star. This was almost on ah. world star. Back up. What is that? A ticket. For what? It says when you move at the house, you had to get all the stuff for you at your own house. <coughs> you want me to take the shot through my nose? Yeah. <coughs> what the fuck? I'm just kidding. <coughs> and I'll be tight. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, yeah, right. the world is kind of fucked up. There's some more left. <laughs> I don't think I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, I'm just saying, y'all who, who be doing DJ shit, which is like maybe one of you guys who are watching this video, you guys should definitely do this. Do that. Show them what's up. See, this is a little $40 fucking smoke machine, but because of the fact that we put ice in this can, and all this shit, we have thick ass smoke, like a fucking tweak hit. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think you can actually can see me. Hold on. God said, let there be light and there was light. There's a boy shadow in the background right there. Um, tonight, so what? I don't think I've actually mentioned this at all um, in the vlog or on YouTube. But pretty much what is going, what is occurring, ladies and gentlemen, is that fucking. Is uh, Daniel Armanderas is aka your boy Shadow, aka DJ Chef. Um, it's his birthday on March 8th, and we're having a party uh, for him and then a co-worker of mine. They have like same similar or close to close birthday dates, so we're having a big ass fucking party at another co-worker's house, and it's gonna be an enjoyable time. We're actually on the way there. We, it's like there's been a lot of planning that's gone into it. It's like a lot. What's up, guys? Long time no touch. No talk, it feels like, in a way, in a, in a bit of a way. I've been like super lagging on recording on the weekly vlog or whatever it is. Um, I don't know why, honestly. I think I've just been being lazy. But yeah, let me catch you guys back up. Uh, lately, what's been going on is uh, I've been broke as fuck because of my taxes. Uh, I expected them to be here on a certain date and then they didn't, so I got fucked. Um, I spent a bunch of money I didn't have. 
So I've been kind of scrounging for cash, trying to hustle to get little money here and there. But um, it's been going cool, kind of catching back up a little bit. We were planning this party called Project D uh, for Daniel or Chattel's uh, birthday and a homie of mine named Daniel. And it actually went extremely well. Uh, you guys seen, I think the clip or two before this, you guys seen as we were going. It ended up being a badass night. Really got me into the, uh, inspired to like kind of start throwing parties and uh, we're trying to plan something out to where we, we're gonna throw something at the Victorville Fairground soon, which will be awesome. Other than that, the night ended in, in a crazy way with a big ass fight. Of course, myself was the one in the middle of the main ordeal. Um, nothing really happened. It was kind of like a, just a drunken, dumb, confused scuffle between too many people. Um, ended the night though. The owner of the house was being a fucking douchebag, screaming at the top of his lungs. Everybody leave! You got 20 seconds! 20! And counted down like all loud and screaming with his mouth all bloody because he got beat up. He just looked like a douchebag. I just kind of wanted to talk shit about him in the video because he looked like a fucking idiot. But other than that, it was a great fucking night. Like there was all the, all of my people were there. Yeah, I'm sorry it's, I've been taking so long on the vlog. I know most of you guys I uh, don't even notice. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be doing a lot more videos where I'm just talking to you guys, like shorter clips and just talking about certain uh, topics and things like that, rather than do just only uploading the vlogs constantly. Other than that, yesterday I finished a brand new song. Uh, Life is just a tape show that doesn't rewind with Hollywood Kaz or Kazzy Chase. You guys should check that out. Link will be in the description. Um, and then also I went to uh, Robbie or Mixer's house and uh, we made a, our first collab uh, with me, him, and, and Rancid, or Danny Boy. And that came out tight. Came out awesome. It's called Sweet Brown, and it does have the sample from Sweet Brown's Cold Pop Escape. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to watch. Um, I have a lot of ideas, new shit, new ideas that you guys need to see. I'm gonna start collabing with a lot of people very soon. You know, get back into the mood of, of, of promoting the channel rather than just making videos and thinking that that's all it's gonna need. Because I remember in the, in the beginning when I made videos, it was always about promoting and trying to work with people and get my name out there and in and, and the past like two years I feel like I've just been making videos thinking that you know I've already made it which I haven't so I'm gonna start doing a lot of new things and just uh, throwing out some fishy line <laughs> I'm actually gonna be uh, in applying to the Ford Fiesta movement which is pretty much if I win I get uh, free Ford, uh, 2014 Ford Fiesta for eight months and they pay for my gas insurance everything and I just pretty much have to do some cool adventures in it and like record it and it'll be cool but so I'm doing that and we'll see how that goes so yeah nice to see you guys again